Patricia Yusuf's three-year-old daughter and grandson recently came down with malaria. He says the mosquito-borne parasite that causes the disease is all too common at this Abuja camp for internally displaced people. And we go, to, we we enter to bed. All is well, everybody well. But toward midnight, I had him shivering. As I thought, his body very hot. So I wake, woke him up. Yusuf took the children to a local dispensary, got some anti-malaria drugs, and is now administering them at home. More than 90% of malaria cases and deaths worldwide occur in Africa, according to the World Health Organization. Nigeria accounts for more than a quarter of the fatalities. Children under five years old and pregnant women are mostly affected. Last week, the global health body endorsed the rollout of the world's first malaria vaccine, Moscurix, after more than three decades of development. WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said the vaccine could potentially change the course of public health history. Walter Kazadi Mulombo is the WHO representative in Nigeria. You know, before the vaccine could be introduced in the country, it has to be cleared by NAFTA for the case of Nigeria. And there are steps to be taken so that uh, the country could um, approve the vaccine so that introduction uh, uh, could start. Some 2.3 million doses of the vaccine were administered to children in Malawi, Kenya and Ghana during a large-scale pilot program that began in 2019. The WHO says the vaccine could help prevent 4 in 10 cases of malaria, but Mulomba says widespread availability may prove difficult for now. There may be some supply issues, so it may not be in, a, in the quantity we require to reach all those that we need to reach, uh, but we understand that GSK with the the manufacturer is working already with, uh, with uh, some African country to decentralize uh, production. The new vaccine will not replace other malaria preventive measures, says Abuja Health official Ndayo Iwat. So if you don't combine it with uh, sleeping under the long acting insecticide nets and also taking care of your environment, uh, taking care of uh, puddles and where the vectors can breed, then uh, you are more like, likely to continue to have the scourge of malaria in this country. Pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline says it will manufacture about 15 million doses yearly, but experts say at least 50 to 100 million doses will be needed every year in areas with moderate and high transmission. In the meantime, Nigerian parents like Yusuf are hoping to get their children vaccinated as soon as possible. Timothy Yobiezu for VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.